Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder. Charles Thunder, Gonzo Rivera, whatever you want to call me. I am here with another episode of this Let's Play series. I guess teaching you some new things about this game. Uh, Uncharted Waters, we're playing another round here. I have sailed back to Ambon and Run so I can do some spice runs. And uh, it was thanks to someone on the internet that I got the suggestion um, for this video. Uh, they suggested um, that I show you how to make a uh, port, a place that you can... Whoa, my phone is going off. Um, a place that you can visit uh, by using a tow, uh, an offline tow, so that you can return yourself to those places when you don't have any goods, and so you can sail there without having to do it all manually. So, I wanted to show you how that worked, and uh, this person that made the suggestion, by the way, I want to get their name, because I told you I would use their name, I told them I would use their name, so let's make sure we, we do that, get their name from the channel, as I look it up, his name is Robert Johnson. Thank you, Robert Johnson, for the suggestion on, on showing how to uh, to do this. Um, this is super important for those people who like to make trips to the uh, southeast to do these things. So you are going to first have to sail here manually on your own, and then find the, the port that you want to sail to. In this case, um, I've already done it, but I'll show you how to do it uh, in Run. You're going to click Register Base, and then it's going to show you your current base, which in my case is Ambon, and what the place that you're in now. And you could register it for a fee. I think it was about 200000 for me to register Ambon, but I could register Run for about 100000 here. You'll just click OK, and uh, that will be making this place your base. So that's, as far as I know, right now, how you use that. And then, you're going to go back, you know, now that this is your place, you know, and you're here, you're going to obviously turn this into a profit center for you. Um, so in our case here, we're going to now sail back to uh, the other port so I can get more spices there. We're going to fill up on spices as much as possible. Get this going. Now, I should be with an alt. Alts, I can get a lot more of this stuff if I was in a group party with an alt, but I'm doing this for the sake of the video with just my regular Charles Thunder account. So, um, anyways, so that's the first thing I would do. Uh, register the base so that you set that port as your destination for when you do the tow and log out option, uh, which you will see under your settings. So, settings. Let's see. Mm. Oh, whenever you're in dock. Hmm. Okay. Well, then we're about to make. Once we dock, we'll take a look at that. Um, it'll get us to these locations, um, not necessarily faster, but if it's something that you want to do and you don't want to waste your time sailing to there empty-handed because you go here without anything with no items and you just want to go empty-handed so you can just stock up it's a way to do it you, do, you can't have any cargo that's the catch um, if you had cargo then you got to sail it automatically you can't do this the log and tow option Jeez, my phone is going off um, so that is the first the first thing so make register a base doesn't have to be this the Southeast Asia it could be it could be Seville it could be England, uh, London, it could be wherever you would want to return to most frequently without trade goods. That's the first and foremost thing. you want. To, where would you want to return to without trade goods? I like to return to Seville with trade goods, so I want to be able to trade sail to these places with um, that I can get trade goods at for a good deal. So that's why I chose Ambong. Um, but at the time of cost it takes you to do this, you know, can't carry goods on it, but much of the thing, like the liners, the time and cost takes to varies on which option you pick, um, and which aids my we have. But 
even if it takes three hours to get there it's going to be beneficial so the next episode I will show you how to actually do that with a registered base all right so here we are we're going to go to settings there it is tow and log out so uh, if I were to click that yeah it would take me to okay so you could pick one of these cities or normal tow a safe tow more time than normal swift tow tow time is reduced but potential for damage is increased motor tow that stresses speed and it requires significantly less tow permits I see that like significantly less oh <laughs> sorry guys significantly less tow permits so that's it's a good deal oh yeah much better so something you consider and then here's the here's the aid information cannot tow with trade goods on and then there's my navigator traits for Erda that's seemingly having an effect on cost the time so right now just a sail to run that's what it's going to take if I want to go to Dilly it's going to take that long if I'm going to turn eight it's going to take that if I want to go to Davao City that's what it's going to take this is the aid tow I guess that's it but I, I don't want to do that right now but that that's how you would do it so anyways now you know how to set the base uh, for you so that you can do the the, the tow and log out at some point so there you go that's pretty simple not too hard to do um, setting the, the base can be beneficial for coming here and getting the things you need for trade goods so I'll restart the episode I'll restart the episode I'll make another episode as soon as I sail back to Spain and stock up here on my seasons seasonings or uh, spices I'll try to get won't take me much longer to get more um, probably maybe two or three more trips and then as soon as I do that I will log back in create a new video and show you guys how to use the tow permit uh, the tow and log out option um, if you haven't already been noticing but be sure to collect all your tow permits every day get your 10 minimum every day I would recommend or whatever it is get any amount of tow permits every day from your logins even if you don't do much else because you need to have tow permits to do this so that is super important all uh, right so that's pretty much the episode guys just wanted to show you how to make a base uh, register a base so that you can then return to it empty-handed no cargo whatsoever and be able to do it in a time frame that makes sense it's something to do like I don't know, when you're going to sleep you know when you're done for the night where do you want to return to in the morning um, even if it's just like the one run you do a day and you don't want to do a bunch more you know throughout the day you just set yourself up the night before get to your spice run place pick up the items bring them back and then s uh, sail back sell it and then do your other stuff that you were going to do for your session of playing the game and then re-log back in or do your and when you log back out do your tow and log out option and then come morning it'll be right where you want it to be now it come, might come with some caveats of you know like as we read potentially lost to sailors and other things but depending on the time you have you may not lose any sailors and you might have a good time so we'll tr test that out experiment the next episode i appreciate everyone for stopping in and watching this has been chuck thunder again i always appreciate you watching it's been a pleasure to have you all been watching. We're almost almost 200 subs. Can't believe we're almost at 200 subs. We're 20 away. Keep up the good work, everyone. Keep spreading the news that I'm out here. Share it to the new guys that these videos are here for them to help. Um, and point these things out to them, guys. They need the help just as much as I could use their support. And we can work together to make this game a much more uh, played game among the people out there. For a very old game, this is one of my favorites. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care. It's been great. Chuck Thunder. Take it easy.